ladies, if you do that little thing where you say, well, if you don't know what's wrong, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, fine. But don't be surprised when the same thing happens again. Above all, both of you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you've got something that's working, if you've got a better way, then do it that way, and I will too. If you can go out, if, if, if your woman is absolutely insane and inconsolable, and you go out and pick one daisy and give it to your wife, because then she'll be reasonable, then go and do that. Most aren't. Listen, this may be a bit inflammatory, but there's a reason that some women, I stress some women, are called bitches. Because just like dogs, you have to train them. Whatever it is that they're doing, you've got to show them that it doesn't work, and they'll have to do something else if they want to get what they want. Anyway, every now and then, give her a little something. Mark random times on your calendar to give her flowers or something. Something that won't sit around and clutter the house for the rest of your life. But something she can hold in her hand. Some proof that she can show her friends. Again, I, I don't know why women need this occasional reassurance. Only that they do. Once a season is often enough. Once a month would be better. But even just once a season. Once a season is often enough. A little surprise for her. But mark it on the calendar. Let her think it's random, but mark it on your daily planner at work. Now here's a little something for the ladies before I go. In college, I had this debate in class. I was the only one debating with the rest of the girls in the class because all the other men were huddled in the corner like cowards. The, ba the debate was over what should be the normal resting position of the toilet seat. Now. I grew up in a house with three males and one female. It seems to me that the majority ought to rule on this. The girls came at, we, came at me in class with a number of very well thought out and intelligent arguments, each and every one of which was shot down with the phrase, well, why don't you just watch where you're going? You don't back up a car without looking, do you? But they came back with one point that I just could not refute, and that is that the underside of the toilet is almost invariably dirty, at least to some degree. Therefore, it should be left down so that the occupants of the house and guests to the house, who may not be aware of your protocol that the seat is to remain up always, won't have to see it. So ladies, you win this one. The toilet seat stays down. But you should still really watch where you're going. And gentlemen, you have to realize, do whatever you have to to hit that target. Now we all know it's a design problem. That just because you aim straight, doesn't always mean that you shoot straight. And plus, there's that little splashing effect. And your girl will eventually notice. It might take her six months before she realizes that, hey... This is the first guy that's never gotten any piss on the toilet seat, and she will appreciate that. You'll score a lot of points, and it'll go a long way. This has been the Dave Experience, and I hope this has been helpful.